in this lecture uh, we will mainly focusing on the it's a transform property uh, which is known as the multiplication by n or it's commonly known as a differentiation in is uh, when you compare other properties uh, this property is uh, very important uh, in exam point of view and you can expect many questions from this area okay and uh, i will highlight this particular point differentiation in is a dump uh, don't skip this particular property uh, when you attempt any uh, when you are practicing the problems uh, give some importance for this multiplication property or multiplication by n uh, or it's also known as differentiation in set it's a very important one now we'll see what is this particular property mm, x of n and the transform is x of z and the roc uh, is given by the letter r and if there is a signal uh, uh, which is written by n into x of n okay and the property says that which is equivalent to uh, multiplying that differential of the signal okay the x of z is the original transform and we need to differentiate with respect to z and we need to multiply the result by minus z so we need to take care of this we need to differentiate with respect to z and we need to multiply by minus z so when there is a signal n into something okay uh, when there is a signal n into x of n we need to write like this uh, the derivative sorry the result can be uh, written in this form minus is into d by d z of x of z another important point there is no change in the roc roc in both case is r so there is no change in roc now we'll see how we can apply this property in solving problem okay uh, this is a very basic question uh, here you can see that we need to find out uh, the is a transform and roc of the signal n into u of n okay when you approach uh, the, the direct method uh, to solve this particular problem uh, it's very difficult to simplify so never use that particular method always use this property to solve such question when there is n into okay or n square into so from uh, this i can say that this is the basic signal assume that u of n is the basic signal just like uh, your x of n okay so we can see how we can solve this let uh, x of n is equal to u of n and the transform of u of n as a standard result as z by z minus 1 so if you want to know the simplification of u of n uh, watch the previous lectures okay and the roc of this particular causal signal is modulus of z greater than 1 okay and uh, now we can see that the signal is multiplied by n okay so we can write n into x of n n into x of n or in the question it is n into u of n okay so we now we need to apply the property differentiation property it says that we need to multiply by minus z and we need to take the derivative of original signal so we need to write minus z and d by d z of x of z okay and here uh, x of z is uh, given so this is uh, x of z so this indicating the x of z so i can write like this minus z d by d z of z minus sorry z by z minus 1 now on simplification uh, you can write minus z and you can take the derivative of this particular quantity that is z minus 1 denominator into derivative of the numerator which is equal to 1 okay minus uh, numerator into derivative of the denominator which is equal to 1 okay uh, and the denominator you can write z minus 1 the whole square so there is a derivative of this particular quantity uh, z by z minus 1 okay and after simplification uh, you can see that uh, there is z okay this term is z and this is minus z so these two terms uh, cancel and uh, remaining terms you can write uh, minus z into minus 1 
divided by Z minus 1 the whole square okay and this is the final result Z by Z minus 1 the whole square and ROC will be the same there is no change in the ROC okay there is modulus of Z greater than 1 and ROC of the original signal okay R dash is same as R so you can indicate that the pole at 1 and you need to construct a circle and the ROC is outside this particular circle okay it's about the question n in e of n now we'll see a slightly modified version of this question uh, here you can see that uh, the question is given by n square into e of n okay if you compare with the previous question uh, this is not n into but uh, we can modify this into n into form that is uh, if you write this question you can see that uh, n square you can write n into n into e of n okay so if you rearrange this you can write uh, this much portion okay uh, this is the previous question uh, n into u of n okay when you compare the previous question uh, this is n into u of n okay n into e of n and the result is z by z minus 1 the whole square and modulus of sorry z greater than 1 so we know the result of this much quantity okay so we can consider this signal as x of n okay in this case we can consider this signal as x of n x of n is equal to n into e of n uh, and is a transform of this particular signal from the previous question okay you can write uh, it's z by z minus 1 the whole square and the roc is modulus of z greater than 1 okay if you compare the previous question you can see that is z by z minus 1 the whole square and modulus of z greater than 1 for n into u of n now we are directly taking that result now you can see that uh, our signal now multiplying with n into x of n okay that is n into n into u of n okay so the is the transform of this particular signal okay you can write minus z d by d z into x of z in this case this x of z okay is represented by z by z minus 1 the whole square because we are considering x of n is equal to n into e of n from the previous question we got the result so now we can write uh, which is equal to minus z uh, d by d z z by z minus 1 the whole square okay now you can simplify this you uh, can differentiate the signal okay if you differentiate this particular signal you will get uh, denominator is equal minus 1 the whole square and the derivative of uh, numerator which is equal to 1 minus numerator into derivative of this particular term uh, denominator so we can write uh, 2 uh, into z minus 1 ok and uh, the denominator will be z minus 1 the whole raised to 4 ok already it's square so we need to take the square so that is the derivative property and now you can rearrange this uh, from this equation you can see that uh, z minus 1 as a common term here so there is z minus 1 and here also z minus 1 so we can take z minus 1 as a common so you can write it becomes z minus 1 if you take z minus 1 common uh, there is 1 z minus 1 is remaining and minus is it okay that's the remaining term and uh, denominator is z minus 1 the whole raised to 4 now we can see that uh, we can cancel this z minus 1 and 1 is at minus so remaining is 3 and uh, here also we can do some simplification so the final result will be uh, minus is at into uh, he, here if you simplify this uh, you will get minus z minus 1 divided by 
is set minus 1 the whole q okay and after simplification you will get it becomes uh, is set into is set plus 1 divided by is set minus 1 the whole q and the roc will be same ROC will be same of the original signal that is modulus of Z greater than 1. So, there is no change in that uh, here the pole and and the ROC is greater than modulus of Z. Okay. So, one question is n into u of n and second one is uh, n square into u of n. Okay. Uh, in the next lectures, uh, we will discuss some uh, advanced questions or level 2 question uh, we need to take uh, this questions are very important. Uh, uh, again, uh, the solution of this problems uh, we will discuss in lecture 12 and lecture 13. So, please watch lecture 12 and 13 for the solution. Before that, you can attempt all these questions. Okay. Once it is given here, and here slightly is modified n into a raised to n into u of n. In this question, you can consider a raised to n into u of n as a x of n. Okay. Thank you.